Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jess from Bahati Life. I wanted to take a break really quickly from working on readings to talk to you about this plate, this meteor, this um, aspect within your natal chart called Chiron. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I was looking at this woman's chart and I was loving it. Um, I really lose myself in these charts, you guys. It's ridiculous. But the way that her her chart was placed, I was looking at Chiron, and I'll tell you what, what this planet, I'm sorry, what this point represents. Um, I was looking at her Chiron placement, and I was realizing how much I probably need to take a break to come in and talk to you about it now. So that's what, that's what it is that I'm doing here. So basically, let me take a few steps back. Chiron is a meteor. And it actually exists. It's actually out there in the universe right now, just kind of blasting around the solar system. And it's a meteor that within the astrology chart represents um, wounds and healing. It's actually called the wounded healer, like that's its nickname. So when you find it within your natal chart, um, it represents an area of vulnerability, of wounds, of sensitivities, of, um, like an ache, a sore, a sore spot. And why is that so important? Well, outside of the fact that the majority of us, if you're on my channel, you're probably all about learning and growing and becoming the best version of yourself and evolving and exploring yourself and healing and transforming. Um, so if, the, if that's why you're here, if you're here for astrology updates or tarot updates, and that's great too, but this, this, this um, point is so, important because it shows your own sensitivities, your vulnerabilities, and what really essentially it is a piece of what it is that you're going to be giving back to the world and how you're going to help others to heal. So it, everyone is different. Every chart is different. But for the most part, across the board, this absolutely 100% represents the same thing, but the way that it's placed and where it's placed and how it's placed will help to paint the bigger picture of what it is that you'll be giving back and what it is that essentially like a part of your gift and how you're gonna be healing. But at the same time, this same point, remember it's a wound, it's a space that needs your own healing. And that's why I really wanted to come in and talk to you about this was because my client's chart, you can tell, you can see within the chart that she it had to have been, this placement has to give her fear. Um, the way that it's placed, it's sitting in her sixth house, but the way that it's aspected, it's kind of negatively aspected and I can imagine, and I haven't checked it, I haven't sent it over, I haven't sent her reading over to her yet, but the way that it's placed, I can al almost imagine that she must be like a hypochondriac or worrying about her health or I can see her actually um, going into, into the healthcare field or in some type of um, healing in regards to health and maybe even psychotherapy or something like that um, because of her own internal focus and her own issues with it. And the more that I looked at the chart, the more I started thinking. This quote came to me because that's the other thing that I do with my charts is not only is it the science and the math and the study of astrology, but it's also the intuitive aspect of it. So this quote came to me and it was like, the wound is the strength. And the quote, like the, the, the wound is where the light enters. Now, I started thinking about this and I started thinking again, okay, Chiron is, it represents the deepest wound and our energy, our e effort, doesn't every day have to be focused on healing that point because, because it's such a vulnerable space, you can really find um, a lot of, uh, it, it's intense, it's intense to touch. Um, it's, it, you have to think about it like, let's say if something happens to you when you're growing up that, that traumatizes you or wounds you, or let's say you're walking into this world with like a karmic debt or a karmic uh, thing that you need to, to experience and to feel and to heal from, that in itself is such a vulnerable thing to deal with that to deal with it every day, I would hope that you don't have to deal with it every day, but it does affect us, but it's not something that you wanna dive in and keep on like scraping through because it becomes way too painful. So I was thinking more about like wounds, right? Like soreness, that sore space within us. And I was thinking how the skin itself, like as a metaphor, the skin itself works as a protective barrier to keep out negative things from coming within, from coming and making the, the, the body sick. 
and a wound is a place that the cut is. And within that wound is where things can get in, right? So Chiron is that wound, that open sore that is sitting within your own um, natal chart, your own astrology chart. Now, with the physical body, with the physical body, we, um, I got distracted, I'm getting text messages, I'm uh, recording this on my phone this afternoon, but the physical body, the physical, the metaphor of using the physical body, it's, the skin acts as a protective barrier, but out, within the astrology chart, there's certain, and within our own energy fields, there's certain things that we put up to, to protect ourselves, to act as a barrier. Um, and that's all well and good, but at the same time, remember that wound still sits there. And that wound is exactly where you can find your greatest source of pain, but also your greatest source of healing. And with Chiron, that placement is so important because you will, you will see that, okay, these vulnerable sides are the things that you need to explore so that you can understand it, so that you can look at the darker sides within yourself and learn it and sit with it, as painful as it is, and then learn about it, translate it, and take what you've learned and what you've translated, the message of that wound, and bring it and deliver it to the rest of the world so that they can heal from your own personal experiences. That's how deep it is. So the majority of us, we look at these, these sides and we say, oh my God, this, this part of me is ugly, or this part of me gives me fear, or this is something that I hide because I'm shamed I'm have shame that I carry this or because it's vulnerable for me to share it with the rest of with with people but actually a part of why we're here on earth is to to grow and to share our experiences with other people and not to really hide ourselves and instinctively intuitively you actually know this you actually feel it within you because you intuitively and emotionally and from a vulnerable place more than anything you want to be in a in a position in within your life to share that deep wounded self and bring it to another person and say this is actually who i am this is a part of my fear what are you going to do with it are you going to love it are you going to love me for all that i am flaws and all i mean i look good on the outside but on the inside i have fears you know so if you in, in, intuitively and instinctively, and if you're saying right now, like, no, Jess, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to hide this. Then I almost want to say that you're still growing because to the core of your core, no one wants to hide all of themselves all the time. At some point within their life, they're going to want to say, they're going to want to share because that is why we're here. we're here. We're here to connect. We're here to grow. We're here to experience. We're here to share. And by going through and looking at and sitting with and confronting who knows better what you deal with who knows better the 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 fear the anxiety the insecurity than you because you're the one that has to sit with it you're the one who experiences experiences it you're the one who knows it so you're not the only one on the face of this earth who is going through that same thing there's other people who are feeling the same thing and may feel alone and your experiences and you sitting with it and confronting it and working with it and learning to heal that space helps others to understand and to heal and to learn about themselves. And that's really important. That's a part of why you're here. Okay? So, um, yeah, I did want to say that it's the fear that makes us hide our ugly places, but that those ugly spots are just begging for light to enter them with everything within the universe. If there's dark, there's always light. Okay? If there's a wound, then there's healing. And that's how it works, always. Okay? So that's why it's really important to find Chiron within your astrology chart. That's really a, another reason of why it's so important to focus on these um, darker spaces and to not feel ashamed. And it's so good that we have the um, astrology, uh, the uh, tribe that we have of light workers and, and healers on social media and on Instagram and on Facebook across the board. Um, working to share our experiences and to educate each other and to connect and to grow and to love and to express and to experience, okay? So thank you so much for watching again today. I'm going to go right back into this reading and send off her, what I see for her within her chart. Um, but Chiron is so important. I think it's something that's overlooked within the astrology chart a lot, um, but not anymore. So share this video, subscribe to the channel. There's going to be plenty more of these and like and comment, okay? Love you all. You can find me at bahadilife.com and um, social media, all of those things will be linked below. Talk to you soon. Bye.